the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Back at Haven, I saw... I thought I saw... How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. Or a demon. You think my survival impossible? Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns, and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know, because I have examined memories like yours, stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly, for Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor.
There is not much time, Inquisitor. You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? Recover your memories to learn how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks the door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your help. All of this is just a dream, part of the fate. It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things, or all of them. I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? I was meant to become the Inquisitor. But what is the Inquisitor? And how will she change the world? You believe in your purpose, and that is good. That is your power. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the Nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. We should keep moving.
the sacrifice. Sacrifice still. Someone help me! What's going on here? So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. So this was what, an accident? A random ricochet in the middle of a fight? And if it was? If it was, then neither the Maker nor Andraste were in any way involved in this. I'm just... If you believe in the Maker, then you believe he made this world, and everything in it, including your accident. And if you do not, then nothing has changed. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. I've never met the Divine. You think that was really her? Justinia was unarmed and unprepared. She could not have defended herself against the creatures of the Fade. Whether this is a kindly spirit or a demon fighting its rival for territory remains to be seen. And the Nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories, that's low, even for a demon. Memories make us what we are, a monster that takes them away. I don't want to think about that. After what it did to my fellow Wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. That looks odd. 